same idea. These are opposites, so we should see that when we multiply these two, we're going to have conjugates, right? For some of you, that's helping. Some of you, it's not helping. That's okay, because we can just work through the whole thing. So to start off, we've got uh, x minus something and x minus something else is all equal to 0. And our first value is 11i. The second value is uh, negative 11i. So minus that negative is going to make that a plus. So some of you guys know what's happening already. And just in case we don't, we can distribute that x, giving us an x squared plus 11 I guess we'll say ix. And then we'll distribute this negative 11i. So that gives us a negative 11ix. And then we got that negative 11 times that positive 11, which would give us a negative 121. And then the i times the i gives us this i squared here. And all this is equal to 0. So now looking at this, we have these two middle terms, which are opposites. And they're going to cancel out, which is the idea of what we had here in the beginning with these two binomials being conjugates of one another. So let's go ahead and rewrite that expression without those two middle terms because when we combine them, we got zero. Now at this point, we know that i squared is negative 1. So we can replace i squared right now with what is going to be a negative 1. And from here... Uh, down here at the bottom, we got this 121 times negative 1. So that gives us x squared minus negative 121 equals 0 now. But since we're subtracting a negative on this, we can go ahead and just change this to a plus. So now we have x squared plus 121 equals 0. And that right there is going to do it for our answer. We can't really simplify this equation any further. Uh, and that will do that. That right there is also in a quadratic equation form.